Hey guys, I wanted to put a video for you guys together just to let you know a little bit about who we are and what we're after. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tracy Pritchard. I am a certified professional dog trainer. I've been training for about 15 years and I founded a, a program or a dream rather about six years ago. Um, the dream, if you will, is called Fido Fit. And I say that as a dream because I have this dream for not only dog owners, but society in a whole to be more accepting of dogs, to give dogs more time, um, to have more programs for canine behavior training and related topics like that. FIDO FIT is, is actually an acronym. FIDO is obviously the dog, but FIT is fun, individualized training. And the reason I call it that is because one, it's fun. I really believe that training should be fun for both you and, and the dog. Um, you should be having a good time with your training process. The dog should be um, encouraged and excited as well as you. So if you hired a professional, you should be encouraged and excited about each next step, each new challenge. Um, it's individual because one, dogs are all different. E even if you're, let's say these two dogs are dealing with leash reactivity, it will not be the same thing in both dogs. So how dogs learn is gonna be different. How humans learn is going to be different. All humans are different. So we offer um, content in the form of videos or blogs so that if you're more of a reader, you can read your information. If you're more of a watcher, you can watch the information. We offer in-home training, one-on-one -on -one lessons and day training. Um, but we really encourage the human element. We want the human being involved in the process, which is why we've modeled our program after the Canine Good Citizen. Because unlike other group classes, for example, like your basic group class or your puppy class, you get a participation award at the end of that six weeks. I don't want to just give away awards because you and your dog participated. Don't get me wrong. I want your participation and I want you to be encouraged in that, but I want your participation to the, to the extent of proving it. So the CGC um, requires your practice and requires you to prove that you and your dog have practiced these skills. So it's not just on the dog's shoulders. In fact, it's where it needs to be. It's on your shoulders to practice and train with your dog at home um, or in public in your community, in your neighborhood, wherever this might be relevant to you. And so the Canine Good Citizen is the standardized test for good manners and etiquette in public. But let's say you're, you're watching this video at home and, and you're saying to yourself, well, my dog sits and downs and stays just fine. He sits and waits for his food bowl. My dog's problem is that he runs out of the door or he's leash reactive, leash aggressive, however you want to phrase that, that term. If you're training for the CGC, those issues will be addressed at some point in time. So if your dog is leash reactive, the CGC requires your dog to heal past another dog and heal in a crowd. So if you're practicing heal and leave it and automatic watch and some of the other games that you're going to see us play that help you achieve that goal of the canine good citizen test, um, those types of be problematic behaviors are going to melt away. Just like jumping up on people. If your dog has a, an overzealous greeting habit and you think my problem isn't obedience related, my problem is behavioral related, I can guarantee you that training for at least the CGC, at least the first level, is going to help melt away some of those other issues. So obedience is always the answer to, helping, to, help, to help solve problematic behavioral issues like leash reactivity, jumping up on guests, running away, so on and so forth. So my dream is that all the dogs can, so all people's dogs can go out in public and that they're welcome in public, they're welcome in society, they're welcome um, not just at Home Depot, you know, not just at PetSmart, not just at pet related um, companies, but everywhere on public transport. I like to see them on the Metrolink, on buses. Uh, going to restaurants with you and not just on the patio and now I'm not CDC or an architect So I can't deal on the health side of dogs being in public with us But I can deal with the side of good manners and good etiquette to help achieve this dream. I Am challenging you and asking you to help me achieve this dream by Creating well-mannered dogs in public by training your dog to be a canine good citizen Here in your home and in society